A battle for the top spot in the Northeast Conference is up for grabs tonight. As the Stonehill Skyhawks bring their five-game win streak up to North Andover, Massachusetts to battle the Merrimack College Warriors. Tommy Deneen, Evan Burrows, and Dave Powell are three officials. It will be Evan Burrows who throws the opening tip, and Jordan Miner wins it for Merrimack. As we're off and running from Bird Hamill Court, good double team down low. And they shift it back outside to Devin Savage. Top fadeaway jumper makes it look easy. Come on. And the Warriors on the board. Took it away from Chris Mellis, the sophomore. First time seeing him in the ball game. Miner, body took a spill in Sims, and Miner still goes through. Which is going on this one. You'd like to see some more points on the board, obviously, but just love the effort both teams are getting. We're seeing great help side defense, good contests at the rim, good contests on the perimeter. It's not maybe a masterpiece, but it's been fun to watch. And Savage finally has, they're going to call it a two, it looks like. Savage McLean. Oh, they say it was a three. Huh? Well, now can the Skyhawks find some offense? Far side corner three, pure nylon for Thatcher Stone. That's the way to beat this 2-3 zone into the high post. Well, any 2-3 zone. Bennett kick out, side. And Merrimack may be starting to heat up from the perimeter. And Coach Gallo as well for Merrimack, now in his seventh season, pretty much the same. What a block from Durkak. Now it's up ahead, two minor. A ferocious slam out of Jordan Miner. Well, I get the offensive rebound. We just mentioned how big that is against this Merrimack zone. Zagorowski with an opening. It's pretty good out of 363. Dirkak wide open from the top. And he's just 0-5 so far, 0 of 3 from the perimeter. Bergen three. And he got it. Notches the ball game at 18. Screen sent by McCoy. Zagorowski switches on him, Reed, catch and shoot, corner three, hits the tray, and Merrimack with a good answer after the three from Bergen. Now Merrimack will start with the basketball, Stonehold, by the way, he's seven and three when they lead at the break, just five and 11 when they trail. Five game win streak for them in conference plays on the line. Going back to the division two days in the NE10, 74-46 Skyhawks with the advantage. Meyer looking for the inside advantage, Dirk has got one today, and his second triple, a nine-point lead. Again, just to emphasize it again, Jordan Turkak came in with two made threes the entire year and 19 attempts. Today he's two for three. Ziggy Reed follows it up with another. On the heels of an 8-0 run right now, and Bergen ends that. Savage, Turkak. Bennett, great ball movement, and Merrimack scorching hot. Them full credit for forcing the turnover and then numbers the other way. McCoy, corner three. And a Merrimack now five of eight in this half from the perimeter. Turkak, a little hesitation. Stutter step up top to Jordan Miner. Zagorowski helping in case, and Ziggy Reed just couldn't get that fadeaway jumper to go, but Miner's there to clean it up. And then one of two in each of the two halves. Going up top again, and still finds a way. It's just been Jordan Miner's night. Game high 16 for him. Fans here are inside Bird Hamill Court. Well, they were pleased with their team performance today. It was the Jordan Miner show, but Ziggy Reed and Javon Bennett helping support the eight and Warriors with a season sweep of Stonehill, their first year back.